So I'll be talking about overpopulation and underpopulation in the countries Nigeria and Australia. So first, I'll be talking about overpopulation in Nigeria. So where is Nigeria? Nigeria is a country in Africa, uh, southwest to the Sahara Desert. That is Nigeria. As of right now, Nigeria has a population of almost 170 million people. That means Nigeria ha has the sixth largest population in the world, which is almost three times the population of Korea, which is a country with extremely high population density. So how has overpopulation affected Nigeria? Ever been to the city Lagos in Nigeria? Well, if you ever go there, the first thing you will probably notice is the traffic over there. The traffic in Lagos is unlike any other in the world. Cars can barely move. Just look at it. Have you ever seen traffic like that before? Do you even think you can move there? And that is all because of overpopulation. But that's just one problem. The city of Lagos has one of the biggest slums in the world and it is still growing at an incredibly fast rate. People who live in those slums are living in terrible conditions. Food is often hard to find and so is water, but if you ever find water, it will most likely be polluted. Oh god, just look at that. Speaking of pollution, water is not the only thing that is polluted over there. Almost the entire slum is full of pollution. Streets are filled with trash everywhere. But many of the people don't really have a choice. They can't afford a house outside of the slums, especially in a city like Lagos. So many people need a house over there. It's no wonder that these slums are growing so fast. So how can these problems be solved? Like many other developing countries in the world, Nigeria has to start using more contraception. They have to educate their people and let them know the negative effects of having many children. Nigeria's population growth cannot be left at the rate at it is right now. If it is, that will mean a big disaster. Nigeria's cities are expected to become one of the largest cities in the world. However, they are also expected to have one of the lowest infrastructures. How can a city with so little infrastructure support one of the largest populations in the world? It is just impossible. Also, Nigeria has to reduce their population because they are exploiting their resources at an extremely high rate and they are becoming depleted. If resources are becoming depleted, that means there will be less resources later. But later, there will be more people, which means there will be a bigger need for more resources. Nigeria's current resources cannot even support the population it has right now. So, with less resources, can it support more people? Not a chance. This is an example of over-exploitation, deforestation. Nigeria has already lost more than 50% of their forests. Nigeria fails to control their population. That will mean even more deforestation. And more than 50% of the forests gone? That is a lot. Now, let's talk a bit about Australia and underpopulation. Australia is almost the opposite of Nigeria. Australia only has a population of around 22 million people. However, it is one of the countries in the world that has the most resources. There are large reserves of iron, coal, gold, copper, natural gas, and uranium, and plenty of potential for solar power and wind power development. All these resources exceed the amount of resources needed by Australia. Also, there aren't enough people to gather all these resources. With more people, Australia will be able to use these resources more effectively and become more productive. And it's not like Australia cannot afford to have a larger population. 99% of the people in Australia are literate, and education is available to 21 years of a person's life. Healthcare is also very good, so life expectancies are high, death rates are low, and infant mortality rate is only 0.42%. So why isn't Australia's population growing? Well, like many other developed countries, Australia has a very low birth rate that is almost equal to the low death rate. Or the population is not increasing. So right now, in order to increase the population, Australia is trying to promote immigration which is smart since the world is suffering from overpopulation. 
However, to attract these immigrants to come to Australia, Australia needs more industrial growth. Unfortunately, Australia's small domestic markets are preventing foreign investors from promoting industrial growth over there. If Australia can attract these foreign investors and grow, then more immigrants will come to Australia. And then Australia will be at optimum population where they can use all their resources very efficiently and have become very productive. Overpopulated countries such as Nigeria need to start using contraception and thinking of ways to decrease population growth. Or else they will be faced with a very tough situation where there will be a huge amount of people but very little resources. That will mean all those people will suffer and probably die. That will mean all those people will suffer and probably die and die. But underpopulated countries such as Australia need to start increasing their population so they can become more productive and efficient. So that's it and I hope you enjoyed it and have a nice day!